everyone is talking about this young man called Stefan Badjetic, bruv. Never have I, never have I ever watched this guy play live. I think he only played one game live. He probably had an amazing game. They're saying that he won every single tackle he made, which is truly scary, bro. The guy's only 17. Man, need to watch out. Probably 18 in real life. But yeah, they're saying in game. By the way, I'm using Football Manager as insight to see what his stats are displayed like as I want to see what, what they rate him in it. So um, they're saying that he could be potentially better than Joel Matip, bro, which is obviously fine. As you can see, Matip stat-wise is levels, bro. Let's be honest. So yeah, if that's who you're being compared to, for the future, it's not a bad, it's not a bad comparison. Now, if I look, if I look, <laughs> if I look at the stats now, he needs to bang Jim, bro. Firstly, but the guy is 17, so you can't get mad at him at that. Let's be honest, bro. But um, the reason why we've met him, as you, we've we've just done this live, so the reason why we've met him as a Sejundo Volante, not a centre back, even though he's a natural centre back, is because physically, there's no point. Let's be honest, bro. Right now, the physicals they don't exist, bro. Because if he was to put him centre back and he's got six jumper reach, yeah, bye bye. You ain't, bruv, there's no point, bro. So, what we do, yeah, if a guy's got 16 tackling, which he does, bro, the guy's got 16 tackling, 13 positioning right now, he can control that ball right now as well. He's got he's got potential in that CDM role. That's where they played him in real life, I imagine, as well, because it was him replacing Thiago. And um, 16 passing, so yeah. There's a problem here still. I I'm seeing right now. They haven't given him the media description of Wonder Kid yet, but I do believe that if Klopp keeps playing him and he keeps putting in good performances, they have no choice but to do that. Even on flipping Wikipedia, they said he's one of the hottest prospects on earth, bro. That's I swear down, bro. I swear to God. If you type his name in, it will say something along those lines. So yeah. Um them men are on the hype train. I'm just showing you the insight. In fact, let's see what he looks like after 10 years. I don't give a damn, bro. Let's just see. You get me. All right, so literally it went like this. I'm going to use average rating as an example. He just got better with time. That's what the stats are saying. Obviously, he's playing in League One at these times, though. So this is in-game anyway. This is just a little simulation. I'm just showing you. He gets better with time anyway, stat-wise, in terms of average rating. And then the stats themselves, I'll say low Premier League level, but extremely high Championship level, stat-wise. That's after 10 years. Those are just... I don't know what this is, bro. This is just an experiment, innit? I don't know what this video is, bro. But yeah, man, um, he, ca he can't jump. He's like missing a lot of things physically that you would need for a centre-back, which is why I wouldn't mind him being in that midfield, especially with tackling and positioning like that. It makes a lot of sense. Concentration, he's not taking his eye off that ball. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, um, very good heading, very good first touch. But yeah, he's definitely one that you might want to pay attention to. And you might see that Wonder Kid title in maybe FM24. He might have that based on how many games Klopp gives him now. But yeah, this is someone that is really getting a lot of praise right now. So I wanted to check him out in Football Manager. This is what he looks like after 10 years.